Hey guys, it's Steve. So welcome back to another weekly Grill Dome video. So today we're going to be making brie stuffed bison sliders with a homemade raspberry barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and put our raspberry barbecue sauce together. There are a ton of ingredients in this sauce, but it is so worth it. So definitely try this out. Uh, I'll have the ingredients up on the screen and uh, I like to make a pretty big batch of this because the sauce is so good and goes with so many different things. So uh, though we're only gonna be using a little bit on these sliders, uh, I will definitely go through this pretty quick. So uh, first we have some raspberry preserves, ketchup, molasses, Honey, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, yellow mustard, ground allspice, ground cloves, garlic powder, and lastly, black pepper. All we're going to do is whisk this up. Okay, that should be good. Nice color. I wish you could smell that uh, raspberry uh, flavor coming off of that. So all we're going to do is we're going to add this to a saucepan, bring it to a slight boil then knock the heat back and simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so it's been 25 minutes and our raspberry barbecue sauce has thickened up nicely here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this from the heat and let it cool down. And uh, I'll set it in the fridge for a little bit until we're ready to top our burgers with it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, brie stuffed bison burgers prepped. And so this is a Really simple, straightforward process. We've got some nice ground bison over here, and then uh, I've got some chunks of brie that I've prepared, and then we've just got some salt and some pepper. So the key is that you just want to take uh, some of the bison and just kind of ball it up in the palm of your hands, and then you just want to get it nice and flat, like this. Okay, a nice flat patty. So we're just gonna lay that down. Then we're just gonna take a piece of our brie. Just stick it down in the middle just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the top patty. And again, these are, these are sliders, so you don't wanna go too big on these. They're obviously gonna shrink up as they cook. Okay, so we've got another nice flat patty for the top. Now the key with any stuffed burgers is you just want to kind of pick it up and you want to just try to make sure the edge is nice and crimped like this. And during the cooking process sometimes that will open up, it's not a big deal. But you want to just try to take it, now that we've got the edges crimped like that, and just kind of go around and continue just to push the sides in and then that's what you end up with, a nice sealed uh, stuffed brie bison patty. So we're gonna go ahead and prep these out, add some salt and pepper, and uh, it'll be time to head out to the grill dome. Okay, so for this cook, we're gonna be doing a direct setup. So I've got the grill dome rapid light that has uh, been sitting in our uh, grill dome lump charcoal for about eight, nine minutes, so our lump is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the rapid light out. And now we're just gonna install our main cooking rack and go ahead and get the lid shut. And we're gonna preheat to about 375, 400 degrees. All right guys, we've got our grill dome preheated to 400 degrees. And the way I'm gonna be cooking these uh, burgers today is on a, a red oak plank. So this has been soaking for a couple hours. And what you want to do is go ahead and throw it on the grill dome so uh, the wood can start to smolder a little bit. So we're going to do this for three to four minutes and then I'll flip it over and then we'll put the, the stuffed bison burgers right on top of the planks. We'll, we'll be back in a second. Alright guys, it's been about four minutes and we're just going to flip this plank over. And we're going to go ahead and get our bison burgers on. Just gonna sit them right next to each other. We're gonna close this lid and we're gonna let these 
uh, cook until about an internal temp of around 140. So we'll pick back up in a sec. All right, guys, our burgers are done. So we're going to go ahead and pull these and let these rest for about five, six minutes. All right, and the last step is we have some little mini slider potato rolls that we're just going to quickly toast. You want to wash these really closely so they don't burn. They'll just take about a minute or so. All right, guys, so the moment we've all been waiting for, especially me. So let's go ahead and build out one of these little sliders. All I'm going to do, I toasted the buns with some mayo on each side. So I don't need to add any mayo. I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow mustard on the bottom. And I like to use baby arugula lettuce on burgers. I just think it's really fresh and goes really well with, with burgers. And then a nice slice of tomato. And then we're just going to take one of our brie stuffed bison sliders. And then obviously we're going to go ahead and coat this guy with some of our homemade raspberry barbecue sauce. Woo! All right, let me go ahead and pick this up and just show that to you. Check that out right there. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely bursting with flavor. Look at how nice and melted the brie is on the inside. Burgers have a nice little char. And uh, you know, even though um, fruit-based barbecue sauces typically go really well with pork, uh, this is amazing on this bison right here. So definitely try this out if you, ha if you can uh, get some bison wherever you're at. Try this recipe out. Let us know what you think in the comments. And uh, Follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter, and keep in mind we have uh, uh, weekly videos, and uh, check out in the video description, there's a link to our uh, newsletter where we have special promotions and, uh, and weekly recipes. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.